Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this cleaning checklist in Word. So I'm going to go and open a new document. And here we've just got our normal default A4 document. So I'm going to go to insert table, insert table, and I'm going to create 20 columns and only one row and click OK. The reason for that is because I'm going to fully customize this row and then I'm going to add further rows to save me having to further customize it. The reason being is because I want 10 little columns here and then a larger column for all of the information. If I was to create the whole table, I'd have to merge all the cells together or I'd have to move loads of columns over and it's quite a long laborious task. So I'm going to have the first column here for my numbers and then I'm going to simply grab these cells in the middle. That's nine cells there. So one, then grab nine cells, go to layout and simply click merge. So that's for our description. Otherwise I will have to move all of these over and squash them to the other side and it can be done, but it is annoying and time consuming. So now I'm going to make this row a little bit taller. So select it. I'm going to click on this square at the top left here. Go up to height and I'm just going to press one centimeter and press enter. So now I'll customize the font I want inside and also the position of the fonts. So select this row, go to layout, and then here you can decide where you want your text. So I've selected it all, but I'm going to select the middle one here, aligned to center. And then I'm just going to select this cell here and move it over to the left. So my text in here will all be centered, then it'll be over to the left for our description, and then our boxes will be left clear except for the top box that I'll put the weeks in. Again, once we've done that, select the whole table again, go to Home. I'm going to select Times New Roman, and my font size will be 10.5. So now make sure your cursor is above the table. If it isn't, click in the first row of your table and then press the return key and it will just move the table back. This just allows you to move the table down. So now all I need to do is to put my cursor in the far right cell and press the tab key on my keyboard and it will create a brand new cell or I can simply click on that row, go to layout and click insert below. And I can keep clicking on insert below until I'm happy. So for this demonstration, I created 16 cells. So let's start numbering these. I'm going to merge these two cells together and put in our chore descriptions. So select these two cells, go to layout and select merge. And I'm going to center this one. So click on the cell, go to layout and click center. And in here, I'm just going to type in cleaning task. And for this one, I'm just going to change that font, go to home, increase the size, and I'm just going to make that italics. Maybe take that down one. Now in here, I want to put my weeks. So I'm going to type week WK return and then the number one. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of them. And again, I'm just going to move the table down. And when we put in our task, so let me go and grab the text. So I'm just going to select this text here, copy it, Command Control C. I'm sure you all know how to copy and paste. Put it into this box here and paste it in. Now you can see that my text is very close to the top line of this cell and the bottom line. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select these cell here where we're going to put the description. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to go to cell margins and in here at the moment there is no margin at the top and bottom which is why they're so close to the line. So I'm just going to put 0.2 in at the top and 0.2 in at the bottom and just press OK. So now my table has moved, I need to nudge that back up. Now I can't get everything on so I need to reduce the amount of lines these words are taking up. So I'm just going to change the font size of this stuff at the top here, this text. And so I'm just going to reduce the size of that. And as I reduce the size, you can see it's giving me just a little bit more space. So I've realized now I've made a mistake and actually 
for these cell margins here, it shouldn't be 0.1. I'm going to go back up to layout. Cell margins, it shouldn't be 0.2, it should be 0.1. And press enter. There we go, we've got a lot more space now. I couldn't figure out why I didn't have a lot of space left. Okay, so now I'm going to go and grab all the text and input all the text. Speed up the video. Okay, once we've done that, I'm going to put some titles at the top. Now, I'm going to put my titles into text boxes because often when you increase the size of fonts in Word, it will push everything down and it's really annoying. It's far more flexible if you just put everything in a text box. So go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and drag out a text box. Don't worry about where it is because we will align it. Just put in my title. And I'm going to go to the Home tab. If I just click off and click back on again, it will just automatically change the text for me. So let's go to Times New Roman and let's increase that font size to 28. But then something we will do to this font, just to make it look a bit more contemporary, is select it, right click and go down to Font. And here we're able to do a few more tweaks to our fonts. So when you get this font dialog box up, go to advanced, go to spacing, click on the drop down and click expand. And I'm actually going to expand mine by five points and press OK. There we go. You can see now I have an additional spaces between each of the characters of my font. Once I've done that, I can go to shape format, go to align, align to center, and then use my arrow keys just to move that down. So now I've done that, I'm going to take off the borderline of this text box. So click on it, go to shape format, shape outline, no outline. So I've just realized I haven't centered the text, select the text box, go to the home tab and click center. I want to use this text box again. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Command or control C, deselect, command or control V and then change my text and then just reduce the size of that text until I'm happy. Again, we can go to shape format, align, align to center. And I can use my arrow keys again. So now I've done that, I can take a look at the whole thing and realize that my checklist and this title here is too high on the page. So I'm going to move it down. My checklist needs to come down. My table needs to come down. There we go. And just to add a little bit of interest, we're going to add some graphics, so go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down, go to the rectangle and click and drag out a rectangle at the bottom. I'm just going to place mine here. I'm going to change the colors. There is actually an outline on all shapes, so click on shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline and then shape fill, click on the drop down, select from any color. I've also got different colors here. If you can't find the color you want, go to more fill colors. You can use the little tool here to scoot around your color wheel. The color you've selected will be in this box here, but don't forget you've got the brightness and darkness slider here as well. And then just click OK when you want that color. So I've just used this color here and just move that down. And then I'm going to copy and paste this or you can use your Alt or Option key. When you've selected something in Word, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag and it will duplicate that element. It's going to reduce the size of this, move it to the middle. I'm just going to move that down a little bit and then move it with my arrow key. I'm just going to move my margins down and the way I can do that, because I want to move this table down, but if I do and just put my cursor at the top here and press enter, you can see everything's gone to the next page. But if I reduce the size of my margin at the bottom, go over to the rulers here. If you can't see the rulers, go to view and make sure rulers is checked. Hover your cursor between the white and gray section, click and drag, and you can see you can reduce your margins and extend your page size. So now once you finish that, you can go and export that and you can save it. If you go up to file and you can go to save as, you can save it as a template if you want to, and then you can use it over and over again in your Word document. It'll be at the beginning when you open your documents, it'll be in your templates, or you can go to save as, and then at the file format at the bottom here, click on the drop down. You've got options here to save it as a Word document or a PDF. 
then you just simply click save. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.